this is very, a very interesting map it's an actual size map so we can take in the actual size of um, continents and nations I just thought it interesting because when you look at either a flat earth or a globe map I'm not doing this to disprove a flat earth but it does disprove it it's just another thing that, that disproves it as we will find out but uh, when I when I flew to Israel a couple of years ago, it's Israel here, and really when you look at it on a map, um, you look at the UK. The UK for some reason is very difficult to um, see on this map unless you kind of zoom in a bit more. But you think it's about let's see, is one, and then about two lengths. So it normally takes let's see less than an hour. I would, you know, say to fly from uh, the south to to the north of the UK, It'd take less than an hour. So that'd be like one uh, one hour to here, let's say roughly another hour to like Greece, and then you'd see you'd have to see another hour to Jerusalem. So that should be like four hours, and it was almost like six hours when I um flew back from from Israel and you're like flying over it takes several hours and you're trying to work out what countries you're flying over <laughs> it, it, they don't really tell you the route um, that they took so I'm just going to do an actual size and we'll see uh, what the difference is we'll try and sort of line up to Israel so like that so if we're going from like Manchester be there, so that'd be like one hour roughly to Switzerland. Switzerland to where's that? Albania. It's like two hours. Uh where are we? Albania to Turkey there. Tip of Turkey. So that's like uh, just four and a bit there. It should be it's kind of about that really. So I, I just can't work out where they flew over. Maybe it should just be over five hours the flight from the UK to uh, Israel. But uh, you can see that as you go further up. Um, there's less land in, in a globe, spherical Earth, so it makes it makes it bigger. You see, and then when you get close to the equator, it gets smaller because there's more land mass. See, you can see how many. You can see the real size of the United Kingdom. You know, just about most of the countries here in Africa want to come here. <laughs> you know, as if if they just sort out their political that you know uh, their politics their racism whatever it is um, there's a lot of corruption that's that's the main thing that there's just so much money being poured into a lot of nations from the West nothing happens it just goes into the pockets of politicians and the, the people themselves don't see it and the people themselves blame uh, Europeans or Americans or somebody else because their their life isn't you know what it should be because they're very rich in mineral resources in Africa and in India as well they've got a caste system there so they can't really blame anyone for the fact that they have that other than that uh, I, I think it's uh, what do you call it that religion they have in India Hinduism I think Hinduism teaches a caste system you see the size of the UK compared to Australia I've got some relatives in Australia and uh, I think it was my relative there. He argued that New South Wales was bigger than uh, the UK, and you can see it's well, it's bigger wide-wise, but actually the north to south is about the same. It's about the same size of the UK. I think it's about six hundred odd miles. Um, from John O'Groats to Land's End 
maybe are almost 700 so uh, it's like the Philippines How about Japan what about Japan is Korea let's let's tilt it around a little bit that's about the same size in fact Japan is, is slightly bigger than the UK I think there we go North Korea Scotland perfect <laughs> that's a perfect match perfect political match as well you know Scotland has just become like a, a communist dictatorship now I'm not sure who the dictator is but it's definitely a dictatorship so, you know some family somewhere are running things Maybe you should start looking into that. You know who's running Scotland, who's running. I kind of know the Rothschilds run things from their banking systems, but uh, these are Illuminati families as well. So um, why is Scotland so socialist and so different from the rest of the UK? You know, it's strange. Especially when socialism has never worked. I think it's uh, it's just sort of enforced by bad policies. I mean, I guess socialists always blame other countries for you know making them that way, and it's true. I mean, Margaret Thatcher, hey, she she <laughs> blame on Margaret Thatcher really, but uh, that's no reason to to have these politics. If we're you know becoming independent, we should realize that we need a, an open market. We need. Um, to, to produce, we need to buy and sell, we need uh, all sorts of cultural balances within a nation which, which can make it make it good, make it great. Scotland used to be known for its educational system, used to be probably the best in the world at one time. I think that's when the Scots really read their Bible, went to church, were closer to God. And it just shows you that the, the key really is um, God, you know, following Jesus Christ. He is the source of all goodness. You know, no, no one is good except God, and we cannot know God except through the Son. So, awesome. What else can we try? Let's um, have a look at Canada. It seems like a very big nation. Let's see the actual size of it. Huge. I mean, look at that, man. Huge. Bring it towards the equator. Makes it a good bit smaller. It's like the US looks a lot bigger now, doesn't it? Bring it across to Africa. There you go. It fits sort of in uh, Central Africa there. Bring over to Europe. It would dwarf Europe. Canada's like bigger than Europe, almost. Almost, I think. You know, you got these countries here which are sort of semi European, those little bits of Russia. Sort of, we get a lot of all our gas apparently from Russia, so technically it's uh, part of Europe. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so that's Canada. What about Russia? Wow, it's super big, isn't it? But how big is it really? In the global Earth, the spherical Earth, we go towards the equator, and just shrunk about half size. Let's turn it around a little bit, match it up to Africa. It almost looks like a gazelle there, doesn't it? It's like a, I'm not sure, a deer or a gazelle or a something like that. And you can't you can't even say that it's a similar size to Africa. Africa is bigger. It sort of matches up until about here, but then you've got West Africa that's uh, that makes it uh, Africa bigger than than Russia. How about Australia? Australia, mate. Let's have a look at Australia. Uh, yeah, definitely big. When you take it to Europe, it's pretty big. Um, 
it's about the size of West Africa. So I guess Russia plus Australia is equals Africa. <laughs> Let, let's try that equation. Russia. Bring it down again. Uh, right this way, the little gazelle, whatever. There we go, this Russia plus uh, Australia. About the size of Africa. What else could we try? Um, United States. I've tried the United States. Let's try the United States. Including Alaska, of course. It's like similar size to Australia. That's like the mainland United States, not including Alaska. Let's uh, turn it around a little bit. Uh, it's about the size of West Africa, probably. The United States. And you've got this little part here, it's about half the size of. Saudi Arabia, Alaska, it's about roughly, well, a little bit more than half half the size of Saudi Arabia. So West Africa plus half of Saudi Arabia equals United States. Awesome. Now let's, uh, let's have what we try. What else should we try? New Zealand, it's going to get smaller, isn't it? It's like really small. Let's try Romania or Italy. Let's try Italy, right? It's Italy, and when you look at it on the map, you think it's about the same as the UK, don't you? In fact, even you think the UK is probably bigger than uh, Italy. Let's take Italy up there. And it gets bigger as it goes towards the North Pole. And you could definitely see, landmass wise, Italy's probably bigger than the UK. If I could flip it the other way, it would, it would uh, be almost, you know, you could see the match up a little bit better. Yep, I mean that's like mainland UK there, you've got like Northern Ireland and you've got the islands and stuff. Yeah, you have to say Italy's like bigger than the UK, man. So I guess I'll leave a link to this uh cool map, truesize.com. Um let's have a look at Greenland before we I mean look at this massive, isn't it? I mean look at the size of it, man. Then let's bring it down. Aha! Bring it down to Europe. It's about even not even the same size as Saudi Arabia. It's, it's not even plus Iraq, of course. That this sort of area. It's about the same size as Saudi Arabia, man. India is probably it's rough, roughly same. Well, it's smaller than India, right? It's like India, Greenland. Yeah, it's like s smaller than India. Smaller than India, man. Look at it on the map, it's absolutely massive because, you know, the contours and the way, you know how it is, man. It's not a flat earth. We're not living on a flat earth, ladies and gentlemen. And this is why, you know, when, when you look at flat earth maps, all they are is like, uh, what you see what you see here in a circle but it's not the true size of nations that they haven't even considered you know the difference um, of, of the size of the nations when they make their flat earth maps I mean that's just like a, you know if I was a flat earther I'd be considering all these things I'd be I'd be ticking boxes looking at all the but they, they don't do that and and that's why I just think that they're they know it's not a flat earth and a lot of them are shells, and they're, they're putting it out there to make a uh, fool of y'all. All you flat earthers, I'm sorry to say that. But, you know, I'm speaking my mind here. Some people got offended that my uh, flats, what is it, flat earth, flat ass? 
video. Man, if you can't take a joke, guys, come on, man. If you can't take a joke. Um, you know, if you, you want to argue about the shape of the earth, it's about the same as arguing about the shape of anything else. That's that's the point of that video. You know, that this is this pointless, it's stupid. It's really stupid. It's like uh like a teenage boy arguing about um girls or something like that, you know. It's it's so stupid. I mean, can you not see that arguing about the shape of the earth? Especially when flat earthers miss all these dozens and dozens of points and they never have any answers and they just say well the bible says it's a flat earth when the bible doesn't say it's a flat earth you know so anyhow have fun <laughs>